Uh, the new set piece increases the damage of both sweep attack and shield bash and at the 6 piece bonus also increases the attack speed by 20% for each stack stacking up to 5 times which means that you not only output insane amounts of DPS but you also output them in a very short amount of time which leads to very interesting gameplay playstyle it's something that I didn't expect out of a crusader to do but you just gotta see it to understand what I mean and I'm just going to do a bunch of more rifts to show you what I mean by that it's a very different playstyle for a crusader I would say it's very assassin like something you would never expect out of a crusader and I can understand that some people might not like it but it's a, definitely a change of pace if you're used to playing the Crusader with the account set, like being super tanky all the time. Sure thing, like, welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out. So with this new set piece, kind of the idea is to be prepared with your cooldowns, go in, destroy the enemy really quickly, and if you run out of wrath, you just retreat, wait on your cooldowns a bit, and then go back in. Rinse, repeat. I don't think I've seen a Crusader playstyle that clears elites faster than this. Oh, what am I doing? However, it comes with the trade-off that this is the squishiest that I've been as a crusader. set piece. I don't need that. I need better boots from the Roland set now. See now I'm out of cooldowns and I need to retreat. Just be prepared to go in, CC the enemy, dump my wrath, retreat again, Yeah, it hurts a bit when you don't have your cooldowns up. Um, this will improve significantly when I get better rolls on the set piece and when I optimize my gear for the shield bash build, but I see insane promise here in terms of clearing speed and damage output. Right now, because of my lower gear quality, um, my resource management is a bit uneven, but this uh, has nothing to do with the viability of the build.
the sweep attack variation of the build is also very strong. But with the way that the new Heart Slaughter rolls now with physical damage up to 30%, this part of the build with Shield Bash is actually really, really potent. Even without Akarat's champion up, you still output insane amounts of damage. With my current gear, I'm at a very low 30% cooldown reduction, but to be fair, um, cooldown reduction might not be the centerpiece of this build. In favor of resource cost reduction, I am still unsure about this part, but I'm going to test it extensively over the next couple of days and see what comes out ahead. Either cooldown reduction, even without the account set piece, or resource cost reduction might be the way to go. Regardless, I should say that this is going to be one of the most fun ways to play the Crusader. I never expected this to be this viable and this fun, but I think Blizzard outdid themselves this time with the new set piece. If you're planning to transition into a Shield Bash build uh, from the live servers, as soon as patch 2.1 becomes available, you can start rolling Piro Morella shields even now, because these shields are craftable and are on the live servers even now. To be honest, everything else is pretty much um, part of the 2.1 patch. It's a six-piece set that is not available on the live servers right now. You could also get a physical damage stone of Jordan, um, physical damage reapers wraps because your resource spending is going to be significant. But the majority of the farming is going to come after patch 2.1 drops. I should actually switch to the pound room. go back in, because the pound rune is actually insane for single target DPS. See, that's what happens with weird guardians with this build.
And yeah, this is I think a pretty potent demonstration of the new shield dash build and the new set piece in particular. Never mind. Of course you'll do that. Stupid fly. <laughs> 